Status update. Such a low population density and already spotty government support structures across many African nations. Much seems to remain largely unchanged. I don't give a flying fuck about Africa. Why are you even briefing me about it? It's my job, sir. Well, stop briefing me on a continent with virtually no geopolitical significance. What the shit would we even do about Africa? Care, sir. You know I still have family there. Sir. Status update. Think with Mexican Ambassador Arturo Lechuga. Major urban areas are decimated, and rural areas in the Baja Peninsula are fine. Well, shit, Zara. I guess we should take a vacation at Cabo. Not funny, sir. Lighten up. The world's fucked whether we like it or not. Status update. Sync with Canadian intelligence. Major urban areas are decimated, and Canada's National Emergency Strategic Stockpile has been activated. Most of the western half of the country has dodged the worst of it. Rural BC is mostly unscathed. I'm sensing a theme here, Zara. Live out in BFE. You're probably fine. Yes, sir, that seems to be correct. <laughs> Those son of a bitch preppers ain't gonna let anyone live this down. That's the least of our concerns, sir. Status update. Sync with agent station outside Moscow. Despite a major effort to contain the spread, criminal enterprises thwarted the quarantine just enough to ensure the containment failed. <laughs> I hope that bare-chested buffoon suffered. I'm not sure that's pertinent, sir. I don't give a fuck. He's a menace to stability and peace. Status update. Immediate quarantine set in place, and major points of ingress to Japan were quickly shut down. While this prevented the spread of the virus, food and supply shortages have been causing havoc. Fishing communities are pitching in to fill the shortfall. Must be nice to be an island nation. I'm not sure starvation is better than the virus, sir. I am. This is a plague of biblical proportions. It's not a plague, sir. Stop being so goddamn pedantic. Status update. Report from our ambassador to India. Widespread outbreak and nearly complete social and economic collapse following in its wake. Major population centers have been devastated by the virus. India? Why the fuck am I going to be worried about India right now? Have you seen the state of this place? In nuclear weapons, sir? What about them? India has them. If the government collapses and can't protect their stockpile, that's an issue for us and... really... everyone. Status update. Official report from the EU. Despite political paralysis around committing people to quarantine, many European countries have weathered the outbreak well. Healthcare systems manage treatments, and they've shown a high rate of success in treating the symptoms. Sounds like a load of socialist bullshit. The numbers don't lie, sir. That said, the collapse of their trading partners has significantly impacted urban centers with service economies. Status update. As expected, not much in the way of information. Global economic trade collapse seems like it has an outsized impact on the Middle East. OPEC countries are actively looking to trade crude stockpiles for critical medicine and supplies. Well, it's a damn good thing we restarted drilling in Anwar. Would have been even worse if we had to trade for oil. Sir, Anwar drilling operations have been completely halted since the outbreak. Why the hell would they stop? I believe they experience difficulty drilling without sufficient staff. Status update. Reports out of Asia have been mixed. Economic devastation and catastrophic loss of life have been reported across the continent. But many regions seem to be largely untouched as well. Chinese authorities claim the situation is under control, but satellite imagery shows heavy population migration out of urban areas. Mixed how? What are we talking about? Initial news out of larger metropolitan areas show devastating viral spread. But some Asian countries have had little issue in rapid quarantine procedures. So, you're saying that human rights abuses have their benefits? Not at all, sir. I'm simply stating the reality that some countries have had less political backlash with strict lockdowns. Central and South America have fared relatively poorly. 
The breakdown in government services has factionalized the survivors, and they've coalesced into warlord factions, often led by former cartels with strong regional paramilitary power. Cartels? Fuck. Not solely, sir. But certainly, without markets for their products, cartels have consolidated control over regions. We have reports of violent clashes with existing governmental militaries as well. Well, that's just fucking perfect. 